What's going on guys? It's Matt here. Thought I'd teach you a song that we've been playing at church. The congregation has absolutely loved. Um, and I'm one of those. It's called uh, Alive in Us by Hillsong. He uses the G, E minor, and D, and C. The same four chords. If you're new to my channel, I teach beginner guitar and how you can use a G, C, E minor, and D and play so many praise and worship songs. That's what it's all about. We can play these songs and worship God. And uh, just today, for example, I was having a bad day and I keep a guitar in my office. And I picked up that guitar and started playing this song and a couple others. And, and I could just feel the Holy Spirit just lifting me up and encouraging me. And that's what I hope to show you guys. How you can use a few simple things on guitar. And if you're not really advanced, you can do one strums if you struggle with strumming different things. And, um, and be playing praise and worship songs and just totally um, can improve your walk with the Lord. So um, I'll play through the first verse, pre-chorus, chorus, the bridge, and then I'll teach you how to play it. even type it in YouTube, Alive in Us by Hillsong, maybe print out the chorus, uh, the chords first, and it's a great song to play with. Get my backup singer there. For free, record, no. It's been a while since she interrupted. For the verses, you're going to do um, G, E minor, D. I'm going to run through that twice. Then, um, so let's just play through it. It goes up. Notice on this D too, I'll start out with my pinky finger down on the uh, third fret bottom string. Let the holder sing. And then I'll take it off on off. So, let the holder sing. Let the holder sing. On, off, on, off, off, off. And switch. You don't have to do that, it just kind of makes it a little more advanced. Uh, back to G. Switch it up to G C E minor D. G C E minor D. So there's kind of four parts of that, but uh, there's two and two. So it goes C G E minor D. You rose from death.
that um, in the last part of that bridge, I'm going to sing G E minor and D twice. The enemy is Come back around after that bridge. You ain't enough for majesty. Your name is high and lifted up. Jesus, Jesus, alive in us. Jesus. Type in Matt McCoy palm mute. Anything you struggle with, I try to write people back and tell them this. If you're struggling with the palm mute, Type in Matt McCoy palm mute, and I'll have many videos on how to do the palm mute. Show a little closer up, a little slower. If you struggle with strumming or strumming patterns, which I know that's the thing I get the most questions about, type in Matt McCoy strumming, and I have a few videos that I kind of go over exercises you can work on, because the strumming is all about timing. A lot of people get that confused about down, down, up, down, uh, but it's more about knowing, um, like I said, try not even... Just tap your finger while doing the chord saying, Great is your love, let the whole earth switch C, let the whole earth switch C. Back, you reach for us when we had no hope, you're my only hope. You are the way, there is no other. I start tapping faster or you can keep that one tap but that's what you want going on in your head kind of like that metronome and I have a video on that Matt McCoy metronome but um so even if you want to just do one down strum you rose from death to just the down strum. So work on that. Again, type in a live in us Hillsong and practice playing with Hillsong actually singing. Another great way to learn. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a message. I appreciate all the comments and encouragement. Uh, it's been, really been a blessing to me. Hopefully I can do the same for you. I'm getting closer with the Praise in 10 Days piano. So be looking for that. If you know guitar, no excuse you can't learn piano. It's really easy with the methods I teach. Same chords, back and forth, playing those chords. Just so many ways we can praise the one who's so worthy. Jesus Christ died on there on that cross for our sins so we can be saved, so we need to give him the praise. And I'll leave you with a verse, 1 Peter 5, 7. It says, Cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. So no matter what you're going through, remember, he cares for you. Let's cast our cares on him and allow the consequences to be dealt with by him, not by us. Have a great day. God bless you.